my friend uh, John showed me uh, his just closet grow. And he was getting a quarter pound out of his closet with the, you know, the old uh, dome lights and stuff. And he had a pumpkin growing in there, I remember as well, which I thought was interesting. And, and you know, I did the math and, you know, quarter pound every three months, you know, and I'm paying, you know, 350, 400 bucks for an ounce. And I was like, I can, I can do this. This was, you know, late 80s, I guess. I mean, I thought you had to have acres and acres in, you know, Central or South America or something to grow pot. I didn't think you could, it was something you could do in a closet. And I was like, oh, wow. And it was high quality. And he knew what went into it, whether there was pesticides, whether he knew what strain it was. I mean, at that time, you know, it was like the era of Northern Lights, NL5 Haze, clone only stuff like Strawberry Cough. And, you know, then you'd hear the stories about Thai stick and, and Colombian gold and Oaxacan and all of the exotic strains of the 60s and 70s. 